Today, we're going to be opening up some fairly unusual sealed Pokemon items. Now, this isn't something I've ever opened on the channel before. And the reason I'm opening both of these up is because they both contain cards inside that I actually want to grade. But I thought instead of just opening them up for myself, I'd show you guys what comes inside of them because you probably won't see this happen very often. And as you can tell, we are full Halloween theme in the Poke Chloe Dome. I'm not ready to let it go yet. So guys, let's take a look and see what we're going to open up today. And as always, guys, I'm going to be giving something away to you. Now, if you've recently been watching the channel, you will know that we had some insane luck with some Evolving Skies sleeve boosters. So I'm going to give these away to one lucky person who comments down below, is subscribed to the channel and likes the video. So one of the items we're going to be opening up today is this Pokemon Rumble Box. Now, if you have also been watching the channel recently, you will know that I actually picked this up in a big collection that I bought from a subscriber. Now, one of the reasons I'm going to be opening it up is because this box actually has a tear in the cellophane. But also, some of these cards that come inside this box are actually fairly low pop in a 10. So as you can see there, we have got Pikachu, Mewtwo, and Venusaur. We're going to pull them all out and take a closer look at them. And I'll show you what this looks like on the back. This box is actually from the year 2009. So fairly old now. Makes me feel old as well. So inside, it shows you everything that you get there. But like I said, we are going to open this one up so you can see what it actually contains. The next item we're going to open up today is this Pokemon card game art collection magazine. Now, now, if you've also been watching the channel a while, you will know that the card that comes inside this magazine, I've actually submitted to PSA a few times, but this one I actually picked up recently, and there is the card right there, but you'll get a better close-up of it in a moment. So we're going to pull this one out as well. I'm going to grade the card. Hopefully, it's in nice condition. I've been fairly lucky when grading it before. I think I've had it back in a 10 every time, maybe one nine as well. So we're going to open this up, and we're going to take a look and see what it includes. So we're going to start with the Rumble Box, and I'm just going to tear into it here where the cellophane is actually already torn open i'm really excited to pull these cards out i know we can see them through the box but pulling them out of the box and seeing them in person will be so much better so this box came out in 2009 making me feel a little bit ancient now because this that is actually quite a while ago so let's open it up from the top we'll pull everything out and hopefully the cards are in a nice condition so wow there's quite a lot in here right i'm going to show you absolutely everything that you get inside as well so here are your pokemon rumble damage counters and then you also get your player markers that's upside down there we go you get your battle royale gaming mat you also get your rule sheet here so i'll just open this up so you can see what that looks like that explains all of the rules how how you play what everything does and what is featured in the box you've also got this target dice and then you have your energy dice as well now all together you get 16 cards in there in this box and the three foil ones are the promos that you can see sitting on the front so here is the Mewtwo. Going to give you a close-up. That hollow pattern looks insane. But I'm going to show you to the side to show you the card is slightly warped from where it was been held in the box. I don't know if you can see. You wait until you see the other cards that are in the pack inside. They are they're a little bit bendy, shall we say. So that is the front of the Mewtwo. We're going to take a look on the back as well. So centering is a little bit off on this one. Tiny little bit of whitening in that top corner. But yeah, there's just a little bit of warping to the card. I'm going to sort of do it slowly like that. Just so you can kind of see where it's been held in the box. It's looking a little bit funky. Okay, next up we have got the Venusaur here as well. So let's take a look at that hollow pattern. See what that is looking like. Uh, this one does have a print line. I'm going to see if I can catch it without giving you guys a glare. But there is a print line running right across the top here. Again, this one can see it there slight warping from just where it's been held in the box we're going to take a look on the back again the centering in this one is a little bit more obvious a lot thicker at the top much thinner on the bottom there not too much whitening or anything like that nothing too crazy a little bit in the top corner but again the card itself is just you can just see where it's been held in the box for so long and it's kind of just sort of stuffed in at an awkward angle sometimes it just ends up warping the card but again that hollow pattern is beautiful and i think we got a few little swirls going on here as well which is even better and then we have got the pikachu as well so let's see if pika is in any better condition i think we got a swirl right in the middle just in the cloud there in the background it's kind of hard to see but guys in the comments below let me know what you think of these cards now 
The warping on this one doesn't seem as bad. It's a, it's a little bit curved, but nothing too crazy. But again, the centering on this one is off. We have a little bit of whitening in that corner. Again, thicker on the top. You can see that border much thinner on the bottom there. So that is the Pikachu. You then get a pack of cards. And I don't even have to show you on the side to show you how bent these cards are. I am going to open this pack up. And we're just going to take a look at all the cards that come inside. But that... That looks like a deck chair. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Right, let's open this up and see what these cards include. So a little bit gutted with the uh, the condition on these. But never nevertheless, let's... Uh, oh my goodness. I can't, like, I'm not even... <laughs> I can't even explain to you how bendy these cards feel. So we're going to take a look and see all the cards that come inside here. So the Rumble um, logo there, as you can see, is got the hollow pattern. Um, so yeah, these are four absolutely curved to the next level. Ooh, Lucario looking super cool. The artwork on these is, uh, I'm enjoying it. Just a little bit shame on the super curvy, curvy cards there. The Mew is looking nice. We might take a look a little bit close up on that one. Zapdos as well. How funky is this artwork, guys? Gyarados. Look at Gyarados there. If you have ever opened one of these as well, do let me know in the comments down below. What have the condition on your cards been like? Or was it a very, very long time ago that you actually opened this box? We got Heatran, Nine Tails as well. Might take a little look on the back of that one. And a Cherim. So apart from being near enough bent in half, um, front again, centering is a little bit off. Centering seems to be the main issue on these ones. Yeah, much thicker on the top there than the bottom. And I'm going to say same again with nine tails, although on the front it doesn't look too bad. But again, yeah, a lot thicker on the top there than the bottom as well. Now we're going to open up this art collection magazine and hopefully the Charizard's going to be inside. So there's a little seal at the top here that we can just undo on this one and pull the magazine out so it actually comes in like a um you can kind of see it here i'm about to put it off it's like a protective plastic cover there that sits over the top and that is what that looks like all the uh energies on the back there so i'm just going to pop that down to the side so that is the sort of little um it's the bit of paper that sits in front that shows you the promo that comes inside like i said we have graded this a couple of times now that is what that looks like. Right, I'm going to zoom out slightly so you guys can get the, the full picture on this. So, if I stand corrected, the card should be right here in there. Oh my goodness, how cute. We will take a look through the magazine in a second. But there it is, the sealed Charizard promo. Like I said, I've had extreme good luck with this card. I will take it out the cellophane. We will take a closer look at that. So let's put that to the side for a second. We'll have a little flick through. That's just like the inside cover of the magazine. I love that. Oh my goodness. You even got Chansey up there as well. Right, okay. So we'll just have a little flick through. Um, Oh, I might actually have a sit down and read it this later. So I haven't, I have had the magazine before, but I haven't had it sealed. That's the first time I have opened it up sealed. You can see the base set artwork in there. We'll just have a little flick through, but this is just such a cool item to be able to open on the channel. Um, Team Rocket there. Um, haven't opened one before. And like I said, I thought it'd be cool to just open it kind of with you guys, even though, like I said, I'm going to be pulling the cards out. I mean, the Rumble cards, I don't know if we're going to be grading them. I'm going to be, I'm going to be real with you right now. They're a little bit, a little bit warped beyond belief, but this Charizard hopefully is going to be in nice condition. So I'm just going to do a little flick through so you can, oh, you can just see everything that we've got going on in here. Lots of uh, Pikachu promos as well. I'm actually going to have a, a proper little read through this later. Um, we got all the, actually I've graded these fairly recently, the Pikachu world promos as well. That's pretty cool to see them. Um, so this is, this is stacked. We got Pikas left, right and center here. We got the ponchos in here as well. Oh my goodness. And we've actually graded some of them recently. Got some really good grades on those. There they are up the top there. Um, so yeah, there is loads in here. So I'm going to have a little flick through myself, I think later on, but there we go. That is what the inside of the magazine is looking like there. So I think it's time. I'm going to take the Charizard out of the cellophane. 
and we're going to see what the condition's like. And here is the Charizard promo out of the cellophane here. So I'm just trying to get a like good feel for what the condition looks like there. It's looking nice. Let's take a look on the back as well. So I will be sending this off for grading. We will see uh, We'll see what it comes back as, but I'm sure you will see this in an upcoming submission video. I absolutely love the artwork on this card. Looks incredible as well. Super, super happy. I was a little bit worried for a second that it wouldn't be in that inside cover, but we got it. So there they are, all of the promos, some featuring swells. A little bit shame about the condition on these ones with the centering, but guys, do remember, let me know down below what your favorites have been. Hit that like button. Someone's going to win the giveaway of the Evolving Sky Sleeve Boosters. Guys, I'll see you again soon.